On camera, this looks just like a piece of acrylic or maybe even a piece of wood with writing on it because it's brown. But one inch clear acrylic is no joke. It's pretty heavy. We're going to cut off a portion of what we need, bring it over to the CNC, and then make our cut from there. I ain't dragging this whole thing over there. a piece of one inch MDF to make sure that it's good before I take the plunge because that's easily $200 piece of acrylic I just cut. A little practice piece to make sure it's doing what it's supposed to do before I commit to this huge piece of acrylic. So far it looks good. Mounting holes line up perfectly. I'm good to go. Might have to put a couple little tiny notches on the side where these gigantic terminals are at. Because it's a little rough getting past those. But it would just take a little shaving just to make it right. And that's what I'll do. And that's the reason why I run these little tests way before I make the final cuts. Glad I did. And here we go. It's do or die.
nothing is ever just that easy. I put a bevel in the front of this little design and I forgot I had to do the back too, so it had to be flipped. I got a little flip trick. It's flipped. It's gonna get beveled, should look good. bevel on both sides and that little lip is cleaned up kill two birds with one stone brand new What I was making over there was a little jig so it can help me drill straight holes into the acrylic because all that stuff on the side will be seen. I can't have crooked bore holes, so this works great. I've already put together a couple rows of these just to make sure that it was going to work. But I just had to make sure it worked before I continued filming. So I do have a lot of this to put together still. As you can see, we're countersunk. Quarter by 20, inch and a half long, countersunk. Pretty deep into that one inch acrylic. Trying to get busy. Out for me, Kay. Oh man, look at that. That's gonna fit right up in there, too, man. Look at that thing. Pop it in, let's see. Go right there, man, right there. Oh, nice. Beautiful, bud. Thank you. Right on, right on. Alright, here's a little trick of the trade. Want to make a little depth gauge, an easy one? Just got to do a little piece of heat shrink. I got some sky high heat shrink sitting over here. I cut it off to about where I want it. About how deep I want this to go. It's important that all these holes are about the same depth because you'll really see it if I don't. So that's how I'm doing it. Perfect depth every time.
inside one for right now, just because I got to see it, but I got to resist the temptation on the rest of them. So as of today, this is where I'm at with this. Hundreds of bolts drilled and tapped. Speakers, panels, everything. I'm not ready to peel this paper off yet, but you get the idea right here. Don't worry about all that mess. That's just some WD-40 from tapping and drilling. Gotta be careful with this stuff. So I absolutely cannot wait to peel this paper back and see what it looks like. But I have to be smart about it. I gotta wait until the right time to do it because this stuff is still vulnerable. You just look at it wrong and it scratches. So I got a little bit of routing to do on this thing. I'm gonna knock the corner off just a little with a 45. It's gonna make it look good even though that's probably gonna all be hidden at the very end. I gotta pull this box completely apart, 100%. The only reason I drilled and tapped everything and attached it together while the paper was still on. I need all that stuff to line up 100% perfectly before I bond it because I can't go in there later and drill more holes I'm gonna end up screwing something up and have a bunch of shavings in between the seams or something like that So that's why I did it the way I did it. Everything's lining up very perfectly. It's dro everything's dropping into place I don't have to try to reach for any holes. They're all wherever they're supposed to be So in the next couple of days, I'm gonna be pulling this box all the way apart Killing the paper off bonding it together and putting the bolts back in so it should get interesting 
I don't, there's so many bolts in this box. I am just completely over it. But at least all the drilling and tapping is done. I'm happy about that. In a couple of days, I'm gonna have more progress. We'll be able to see what this looks like with everything pulled off of it. And of course, the woofers inside of it. It's gonna be kind of cool. Just wait and see.